Hi, this is Trey Passer, and this is uh, my answer video, part three. Um, I think this video won't be as long as the other, the first two, because I think I've answered mostly all the questions, but I wanted to do one, you know, I like doing things in terms of threes and, you know, like a trilogy. So here I am, and of course I brought my kids again. Here's Max, there's Sam, okay, and I had them switch hats, you know, because, you know, so you can see more of a... Sam's great eyes, okay, and uh, I wanted to give Max an opportunity to wear the championship, you know, hat, so there we go. So um, let's uh, go to, the like I said, I think I answered most of the questions, but I think I want to just go through it just one more time just to make sure I got everything that everybody asks, and, you know, and maybe later on I can do another question video down the road or something, you know, answering question video again down the road. Again, thank you again. Nick uh, Swap Meat Searcher for suggesting this. I had a ton of fun doing this. So, and of course, I got to show off my kids. So, that's a bonus. And my kids get camera time. And like I always say, kids, cute kids, equal more views. Okay, okay. Now, um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna go through the. I'm going through the questions as I speak. So that's why I'm humming. Uh, I think I don't know if I answered this before, but maybe I did. Okay, do you believe in Bigfoot or aliens? I think I answered this before, but I'm going to answer it again. Okay, do uh, when I was little, believed in Bigfoot. Always there was a, a show called, but hosted by Leonard Nimoy, we called um, "In Search of," where they used to be in search of different things, myths and stuff, and like in search of Bigfoot. And I remember seeing this special. It was like a half-hour show, and it totally freaked me out and made me think Bigfoot really existed. <laughs> of course, but then I, you know, I got older and I got over it. But um, um, now, I, but like I said, now, now that I'm an old wise man, I do think aliens exist. And like I said, I think before that there got to be aliens out there in the universe somewhere. You know, I can't, we can't be so naive to think that we're the only life ex that exists on Earth, so, you know, uh, in this planet, you know, this universe. There has to be something else somewhere out, else out there, I would believe. Okay, so that's my theory on that. Uh, okay, free of charge. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Sure. Okay, yeah. I know uh, this is another question I want to ask. Uh, Lando Blanco uh, asked a question. It got flagged as spam for some reason, but it's not spam as far as I'm concerned. Uh, he, I guess he basically asked me to choose between which actresses. Okay, Eva Mendez or Jessica Alba. Very interesting. I'm going to have to go. Uh, Jessica Alba has two kids already, and she's married, of course. Eva Mendes, I think, is dating uh, Ryan Gosick, I think, at the moment. Uh, let's see, Eva Mendes, Jessica Alba. I really had to think for Jessica Alba. But I'm going to go with Eva Mendes. I think better body. I know that's so sallow and superficial, but that's what I am. I am what I am. Uh, Scarlett Johansson or Natalie Portman? Oh, that's a good, tough one. Uh, that's really good. Thank you, Orlando, for suggesting that. Scarlett Johansson or Natalie Portman. Oh, God. Natalie Portman is so cute. So gorgeous. Uh, but Scarlett Johansson. What a killer body on her. But you know what? I'm not going to go for the body in this case. I'm going to go for Natalie Portman. I think she's absolutely t super talented and super gorgeous. So I'm going to go with Natalie Portman. And absolutely, another movie, since I'm speaking of Natalie Portman, there's a movie called Beautiful Girls that I would highly recommend, which I have to get myself on... Um, you can get that on DVD. I don't know if it's on Blu-ray, but if it is, I should get it. A great movie, very underrated movie, Beautiful Girls. And the chemistry between her and Timothy Hutton in that movie is just absolutely fantastic. So that's just a uh, cheap pop for that movie in here. Okay, Alyssa Milano or Reese Witherspoon? Uh, Alyssa Milano. Okay, I like Reese Witherspoon, but I'm going to go with Alyssa Milano. Okay. And Penelope Cruz or Paz Vega. Now, I know who Paz Vega is. Uh, she did a movie called Ten Items or Less with um, Morgan Freeman. It's like a small independent movie, which is actually quite funny. And um, I think she was also in that Adam Sandler movie where she was the maid, which I can't remember the title of now off the top of my head. Um, but um, I'm going to go with Paz Vega. No offense to Penelope Cruz. She's probably one of the most gorgeous women in the world, but to me she looks like a duck. Okay? So Paz Vega, who's absolutely fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, Amber Heard or Olivia Wilde. Now that's a tough choice. Amber Heard or Olivia Wilde. Olivia Wilde is so beautiful. Okay, uh, 
uh, I'm just remember seeing her in Cowboys and Aliens, and she was just absolutely fantastic. And there's that scene where she, spoiler, but in case anybody didn't know, at towards the end after she supposedly dies and she comes back to life, and she's supposed to be naked right there out, and, she, and the, I think the wind is blowing in her hair, and she looks absolutely beautiful. And Ham, Amber Heard is absolutely gorgeous. You know, you know that that show on NBC that she was on the Playboy Club was absolutely horrendous, but she is gorgeous. And mm, Olivia Wilde. You know, I'm gonna go with Amber Heard, even though it's killing me. Amber Heard. Uh, Kate Beckinsale or Jennifer Garner? Uh, I love Jennifer Garner, but I'm gonna go with Kate Beckinsale. Total kick ass, and she looks good in black leather. That's a good, another good reason. Zoe Salander or Rosaria Dawson? Mm. Uh, I love so Zoe Salander, but I'm gonna go with uh, Rosaria Dawson. I just think she's, I've seen her in more movies, and I think she looks. More actually gorgeous. Okay. And Monica Bellucci or Marissa Tomei. That's easy. Monica Bellucci. I have a movie called Melina that I saw with her where she plays this, this widow, I think, in, in Italy. And she's basically walking around in this beautiful dress. And all the men, of course, all the women hate her in the town. And all the men want to be with her and stuff. And these young boys are fascinated with her. And she looks absolutely gorgeous. Monica Bellucci in her one away. Okay. Nicole Kimmon or Kate Blanchett. Nicole Kidman, no, no offense to Kate Blanchett, who I think is an excellent actress, but Nicole Kidman, I love her, that music, uh, the, there's a movie called Practical Magic that she was in with Sandra Bullock, I think she looks absolutely incredibly sexy, and also that, the movie, uh, the Bewitched movie, which is actually a horrendous movie, but she's the best part of it, she looks so fantastic in that movie, so Nicole Kidman, Naomi Watts or Gwyneth Paltrow, Naomi Watts, and I know Gwyneth Paltrow, um, you know, yeah, I used to like her a lot and stuff, and I think she looked absolutely. In the remake, uh, what was that? It was a remake of Great Expectations, the movie. I forgot what the name of it was called with Ethan Hawke that she was in, which I think she looked her absolutely most beautiful in that. But I'm gonna go Naomi Watts because I'm all Holland Drive, <laughs> and I just think uh, Naomi Watts does it. I don't know, it's just something about her that, that does it for me. I think she's super attractive and she's super talented. Okay, uh, Amy Adams or Emily Blunt. Uh, I love both of them, but I'm going to go with Emily Blunt. I just think she's absolutely beautiful. And I forgot, I mean, there's a movie that she did with another young actress where um, they're, they're, they spend the summer together and they become friends and they actually become lovers at, at one point in the movie. And I forgot the name, I can't remember the name of that movie, but I would highly recommend that movie if you look it up in her, uh, you know, international, uh, looking, you know, under her movies and Find the title of it. I can't remember the title of it off my head, top of my head. Jamie King or Jamie Presley? Easily Jamie Presley. See that there's a movie called Ringmaster, basically a movie about the Jerry Springer show, which is absolutely a horrendous movie. But she's the best part of Jamie Presley. She looks absolutely her hottest in that. And I like her on My My Name is Earl. She was good on that show too. Uh, let's see what else. Orlando Blanco. Just the comments for some reason. They say they were spam, but I don't think they're spam. Okay, let's see what else. I see another question. And also, just to let people know, uh, the Hall Collective guy is going to Monster Mania in New Jersey March 9th to 11th. Um, I may have to check into that, depending on uh, uh, where it is in Jersey. Like I said, I live in New York, so to get to Jersey, I would have to get somebody to drive me there or something. But maybe I'll look it up and see. And maybe I can make arrangements to go out there March 9th to 11th just to see. Depending on what they have in it, the Monster Mania, maybe I can bum a ride with somebody or something. Okay, uh, uh, let's see. Okay, Chris Blue 007, or Mr. Steelbook as I call him, or Mr. Corny Jokes as I call him. That's, that'll be your next new name, nickname for you. Okay, Iron Man versus Terminator. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Iron Man and the Terminator. I'm going to go with Iron Man. You know why? Even though the Terminator is relentless and doesn't stop, well, absolutely will not stop. Iron Man, you got to remember, is Tony Stark. So he's super smart and super rich. So he could come up with a technology probably to stop the Terminator. So I'm going to go with Iron Man. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Another question. Great guy like that. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. 
I mean, it's, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Another question, question, question. Let me see. By the way, uh, if you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I answered, well, what 80s movie is my favorite, which was 16 Candles, which I absolutely love. And I have to get that movie on on uh, Blu ray. I don't think it is. Probably has this on DVD. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Another question. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I answered this question before, but let me answer it again. Uh, somebody asked me, uh, hey, Cooper37, were you in the military a little while? And if so, how did you like that? Okay, well, I was in the Air Force for four years. And as soon as I got out of high school, I joined up, you know, to get out. You know, I couldn't really afford to go to college. And I didn't get any scholarships, so. And I didn't want to just get out and work. I wanted to, you know, to maybe learn a, learn a you know, a skill and, you know, and, and and basically make money. So, and like I said, in the service, and they, you know, promised, and they did teach me a skill. I was a telecommunications specialist. That was my, which basically is, like I said, a fancy way for saying a mailman. Uh, uh, we worked in a secure location, and basically what we did was we get messages from all over the world, and we basically had to sort them. So we had this big bin that we, we had these two big machines that would spit out messages all day long. We'd have to rip them up, rip them off the machine, and go up to them, and they sort them basically in the bins and stuff. And basically, like I said, we were glorified mailmen in a way where we just instead of getting mail you know we get messages like I said would come in to our shop and then we have to basically sort them and send them to the appropriate agencies and people would come by to and we actually had a drive-in window actually where sometimes people would come and you could actually hit the button and it had a mic and everything so so I know how to work a drive-in so worst come to worst I lose my job I have work drive-in experience and so I could probably do that uh, let's see Let's see. Questions, questions, questions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody asked me what was my favorite song. Okay, my favorite song is would be November Rain by Guns N' Roses, which is a truly epic song. It's totally awesome. And I remember seeing the video and stuff for that and, this, the, and hearing the lyrics and the way it slowly builds up and, and then it ends with a flurry. And it's just a fantastic song. Axl Rose, if he doesn't do anything else in his life, I have to thank him for making November Rain. Him and Slash it. Uh, that was just such an epic song. I absolutely love that song. That song just I could listen to that all all day long. It's just there's just something about it, just fantastic. And also it doesn't hurt they have Stephanie Seymour in that uh video who used to I guess date Axel Rose. But the song is just epic and just fantastic and Guns N' Roses was a great band. It's just it's too bad they didn't have, you know, they didn't have more years together because they were just a truly epic band. Uh let's see, what else? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Somebody asked me. No, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, another old TV show that I really liked was Buck Rogers in the 25th Century. There was a movie uh, based on it, and what absolutely, which I didn't see in the theater at the time, but it actually came on TV. And then they actually made it a TV show. Buck Rogers in the 20. Fifth Century, which is absolutely fantastic. So, starring Gil Gerard and Aaron Gray, fantastic show. I absolutely love that show, Buck Rogers. Um, and also, um, another show that I love, a science fiction show, Babylon Five. I absolutely love that show. Um, but it was sort of like you know, take I'm trying to describe it. It was uh, Babylon Five. It's kind of hard, but you know, about all these different races fighting each other and stuff. And it was a lot of epic feel to this TV show, Babylon Five. And I have to get that on, get that on DVD, Blu-ray. They probably have sets of it, and I have to get it because it's, like I said, the first season was so, kind of so-so, but then on the second season, they brought in Bruce Boxleitner, that's his name, and then the whole dynamic of the show changed, and it just became so much, so good, and I made a point of watching it all the time, and then they kept moving it around and everything else, but it was, Battle on Five was a really great show, which I highly would recommend anybody to get. Oh, let's see it now. Uh, okay, 14 minutes. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do a few more minutes. I think I've answered mostly everything. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Mr. Movie Lover, 1998. I think I answered this before, but I'm going to answer it now because it's a lot of questions. Uh, my favorite movie is Batman Begins. Of course, I said it before. I love it. I've mentioned that before. It's just epic storytelling, and I love the worldly feel of the movie. Like I said, start, you know, Bruce Wayne, you know, parents getting killed, growing up angry young man, not getting justice in court, leaving leaving town, to, you know, to find a means to fight injustice, uh, and then coming back to Gotham and just taking on the corrupt, you know, the people in Gotham. It's just it's just fantastic, and Liam Neeson is Ra's al Ghul. Just absolutely fantastic, epic storytelling, and that's why it's one of my favorite my favorite movie, probably. Uh, uh, worst movie, like I said before, Ford, Ford Fairlane, starring um, Andrew Dice Clay. Absolutely horrendous. Uh, I remember, like I said before, I think I said before, seeing it in the theater, me and my friend, and then it was like I think four other people at the theater when it, on the day that it came out, and th that's how. Because I think at that point, Andrew Dice Clay had pissed so many people off that nobody was going to see his movies and stuff. And the movie is absolutely horrendous. Okay. My favorite British movie, again, like I said before, is Four Weddings and a Funeral. Hugh Grant. Love that movie. Love the soundtrack. Uh, okay, let's see. What else? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, somebody asked me how many Blu-rays I have. Mr. Movie Lover, he asked me that. And I think um, I have over 200 Blu-rays, I think. I'm not sure. Like I said, I have to physically go count it again, but I think that's how many I have. And uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh yes. He had, uh, Chris Blue, Double O Seven, asked me. Um. Okay. Um. Who has been the best actor and actresses over the last five years in movies that you have enjoyed most? Okay, uh, like I said before, I think like, I love Liam Neeson, uh, but for this question, I want to say uh, Kristen Bale. I just love how he he intense he is, and he so dedicates himself to whatever role he does, and and to see the wide range of movies he does, like The Machinist, where he lost all that weight to to play that character, and then. Um, American Psycho, where he plays the American stockbroker who loses his mind and starts killing people and becoming a serial killer, to back, you know, Bruce, playing Bruce Wayne, and and then uh, the movie that, uh, with Mark Warburg, which I can't remember the name of it, which he won the Best Supporting Actor for, just uh, a fantastic range. That's why I love Kristen Bale and most everything he does, um, and also, um, uh, let's see what other question he asked. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My uh, what's your favorite beer? Uh, R. I. P. Myers asked me this question. I think I answered, but I'm gonna answer it again anyway. Uh, what's your favorite beer? Like I said before, I didn't drink that much anymore. I mean, I drink every once in a while maybe, but my favorite beer would probably be Heineken. Okay. Uh, let's see. I got a question here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is I love this from Hard Body Reviews. He says, uh, "This is who is a truly sick individual." Okay. Uh, do you like to eat bugs? Uh, 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 bugs not so much. I love Bugs Bunny though, but I don't like eating bugs. Who's your favorite loose cannon cop, and from what movie? That would be uh, Martin Riggs. That would be Mel Gibson from the Lethal Weapon movies, especially the first movie where he was batshit crazy and he wanted to kill himself. And so, uh, and like I said, he literally had a death wish in that movie and he drove Danny Glover absolutely crazy. So that's my choice for that. Um, where all in the world is Carmen San Diego? Yeah, I often wonder that myself. I don't know, even, I never understood that. Where is Carmen San Diego, the cartoon? I never understood it at all. Uh, okay. Okay, and he also asked, uh, is death the only es escape to this empty void of consumerism? Okay. Well, my qu answer to that question is death is only a temporary reprieve. Once you get into heaven or hell, and but in his case, uh, it starts all over again. Okay? That's my answer to that. Okay? 
and do 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 let's see uh <laughs> let's see uh let's see yeah okay do 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 okay swap uh let's see let's see let's see I think that's all the questions I think that's all the time we have for now boys and girls and um, thanks for watching and I love doing this videos and like I said I think like I said this will be the last one you know because I think I've answered mostly everything and like I said maybe somewhere along down the line somewhere I'll answer do another Q&A video and stuff uh, or maybe I'll ask questions to fellow youtubers and then they can give me response give me video responses back that way that's a, I think that's a good idea I copyrighted that so don't nobody steal that idea okay uh, so this is Trey Passer and for my sons, okay. Uh, hold on, let me see. I just want to make sure. For my sons, Sam and Max, we thank you for watching our videos. And this is Trey Pazzer saying so long and take care. And of course, I gotta let Sam get the last word. So get the last word, Sam. Take care.